Hello and welcome to Randomized Gaming's part 3 look at the Xbox Live Indie Games. Now as I'm talking the time is currently 1900 hours and you can still currently buy games from the Xbox 360 Indie Store and I suspect they will be up till at least the sort of midnight store change so hopefully this video will be up round roughly around nine o'clock and you still got a few hours to download some of the very best xbox 360 indie games before the shot get shut down so we're going to show you again another selection i'm not going to commentate too much because i don't have a lot of time sadly and i want to just get this video out and i'll let the gameplay footage speak for itself i'll include a quick note about what genres the games are down below in the comments as well it's as easy for me to type and go rather than record the audio and then adjust it and tweak it etc just gonna take too long otherwise i want to get this out as soon as possible so we hope you enjoyed this video we're going to start with a quick look at a selection of them Milkstone Studio games. There's a couple of them in there, and the first one is The Wonderful Wall, which is basically I'd describe as a bit of a puzzle game that you play as a sheep dog. It is a wonderful idea, really good fun, and yes, there aren't too many games where you play as a sheep dog. In fact, the only other game I can think featuring sheep directly in the Xbox 360 was Flock, which was an Xbox Live arcade game, but this is Wall. Come <laughs> 
Okay, so I think we end there on a nice game with Bree. So we've had quite a nice selection, a couple of shooters. Astro Man was a Metroid-style game. The Tempura of the Dead is a fantastic sort of action platformer. Incidentally, on Astro Man and uh, Tempura of the Dead, I did cut out some of the gunplay footage. There's also the, the fat, nice little stealth game, Midnight Bites, which is very nice, enjoyable. Again, Dempure, although I probably pronounced it wrong, which is a mecha shooter. There are actually a couple of mecha shooters I've played. Another really good one is Junk Field, which if we get a chance to, I will video again if the server's still up tomorrow. Again, Funky Balls is a great Monkey Balls clone. And we've got a couple of two good shooters there. One is Snot Attack is uh, basically what I describe as a really good Don Don Patch style shooters. There's another couple of Don Don Patch shooters called as it's Super Killer Hornet, although that they did get Steam release. Again, we've got a rare driving, a good sort of outrun clone with motor heat as well, and Aquilibrium, which was an Acorn game that was originally called Cat oh, Cataclysm, but it's renamed Aquilibrium. I think Aquilibrium is a, a better name for it. It was done by the same team that did the Inferno, and again, it's a fantastic Acorn game. Really, really good. I'm so glad they brought it to Xbox 360. So a little information on the actual original Acorn version and a Vortal Action, which is a really enjoyable game. Hope you enjoyed this video again. Good selection of games there. There will be more. If the indie servers are up tomorrow, we will do another video. But I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to sign out for now. But again, if you haven't already, get on the Xbox store. Midnight might be the shut-off time or when the store updates. I'm not entirely sure when Microsoft updates the 360 store for tonight. But basically, yeah, it, it could well be the end of the service. I am Random Gamer Riven. As always, if you like our content, please reblog it, retweet it, etc. And as always, subscribe. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, and you can follow us on Tumblr as well. Thank you, and good night.